I'm happy to be here in Milan at such a great gallery, Massimo Di Carlo. The title is OK. I was OK. Everything's good now. What inspires my paintings is my, my little world, like the world I see and stuff. I'd been doing kind of representational paintings for a little while. Before that, I did abstract paintings, and then so it became popular. I noticed a lot of figurative painting. Let me see if I can still do abstract painting. And no, I, I couldn't. Time goes by and everything changes and you don't have this energy. So I had to like start over. What you're gonna see in Milan are large format, colorful and abstract, and they, they portray the way I want to be as myself, like just trying to learn, you know, what's going on and like I project what I make. It, it's not just in my house. So I, I think about the viewer and I consider myself viewer number one, but because I'm an exhibitionist type of artist, it's really fun. On some smaller walls are some monotype works. When I paint on a plastic surface and then they pick it up and then they stamp it down. They're not serial like a, a, you know, a normal lithograph or etching. In another room, there's a, a human animal. It's like a splayed sort of creature. In this other room, which is a library, I made like a sketchbook of all motifs and things from the past, like very casually. And it's impressive to me that we were able to reproduce these sketches with no ink, just the pencil. My painting technique changes just like everything else. I don't know if anybody's really born a painter. I think you have to build a world within you. Start to paint, like touch it once, and then you're like, you touch it again, and sometimes it's done. When I like something, I destroy it. Placing the border on a few paintings helped me to leave them alone and stop. A big part of Art is like knowing when to stop. Everything I make, I make for myself. Everything is, is in my art. It's such a great job because everything, every breath and every synapse of sadness or joy or anything is in there. I, my process is just get a bunch of paint and paint as best a painting as you can. I've always kind of liked to use a painting to learn from another painting. So sometimes I'll work on one painting at a time and I'll be like, I'm gonna finish this painting. But then the painting goes over and leans on the wall and I start another painting and I learned from the mistakes of that painting. So with these, I just tried to make them a little different, but all the style in these comes from my other paintings, like the, the shapes and the, 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 the lines and the, the dots, like it's, they're elements like I've done paintings of fish. I got interested in the idea that you're not responsible for painting an accurate picture of something you can't really see. With my work, I would like to paint a picture of a tree or a building or a person. A lot of things that I paint are about capturing that truth. Repetition's a big part of my work, which probably grew out of my love of printmaking and the magic that you can make art an art machine. These paintings here in Milan were inspired by my personal search for becoming a better person and a happier person. And I want to get better. I'm not trying to be the same guy. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. <laughs>